Ya ahorita entré. No existe la cámara. Esto Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. No teacher. No. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Hello. I can hear you. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Can you hear Hello. me? Hi, teacher. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Jenny, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I can hear you. Let me see. Something must be wrong over here. Just a second. Uh, Luis Alonso, can you tell me something? Puede decirme algo? Okay, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I can hear you. Maybe there's something wrong with this. Can you hear uh, me? With, no. Uh, okay, just a second. <laughs> One second, please. Okay. Hi, Alba Seveda. How are you? Hi, teacher. Very, very good. Cool. Yeah, I can't see. I can't hear you. I don't know. Just a second. Okay. Can hear you. Just a second. Mm. I do, I do listen to him. One second. Okay. Um, Luis Enrique, can you say something? Good evening, sir. Oh, good, good evening. evening. Yes, now I can hear you. Yes, thank you. Good I'm evening. Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's raining hard, teacher. It is raining hard, yes. We're having like a storm today. So hard. Yes. It just started to rain. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, I think, uh, let's see, just a second. So today we're gonna start a uh, uh, unit of section five, which is, uh, it's gonna, we're gonna be talking about the future with present continuous and going to tenses. So I'm so excited uh, to, uh, just a second. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, how was your weekend, uh, Stella, Lara? How was it? Good, teacher. Good. It was okay? Okay, it was too short for me. It was too short. Demasiado pequeña para mí, yes. <clears throat> I, wish, I wish we could have uh, three days on the weekend. Well, this was a, a, a long weekend. We have a Father's Day. Father's Day celebration on, on Friday. And uh, tell me, Luis Alonso, what did you get for Father's Day? Um, eh, pavo. Oh my God, turkey. Yeah, turkey, yes. My turkey. goodness, very good, excellent. With my family. Oh my good, uh, very um, good. We celebrate in, on Saturday. What's on Saturday? Saturday, Saturday yes. evening or, or during the day? At night. At night. Okay. At night. Very good. Yes. So it was at night. It was a dinner. Um, a turkey with a salad with um, a bread and okay. 
and cook. Okay. And uh, uh, orange juice. Okay. Uh, lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yes. Oh, okay. Lemon juice. Yes. That is called lemonade. 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 Yes. Es la limonada. Yes. Lemonade. Yeah. A menos que a sea. A little complicated. A little yeah. complicated to, to the rains. Uh, rains over over there. Rains okay. next over there. Rains. Hey, what? What's All raining? Days. Oh my goodness! I'm All sorry weekend. to hear that. All weekend. I'm, Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we, we didn't have that much raining over here. Where where I live, we have kind of a, it was switch on and off, on and off. Raining, it stopped raining. Raining, stop raining. So yes. it was it was different. Here too, here too. It's, it's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay, yeah. very good. Very good. And uh, thank you, Luis and also Claudia Iraeta, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Thank okay, you. are you married? Excuse me? Are you married? No, I'm single. No. Oh, you're single. Okay, okay. I was going to ask you if you celebrated. Okay, I was going to ask you if you celebrated Father's Day. Uh, no, not celebrate because my father is not here. Okay. My father it's... is in USA. Oh, it is in the USA. Mm -hmm. Okay. But did, did you call him and say, hi, dad? Send him a message. Okay. You sent him a message. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Man, that's enough. Good. Good enough. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Claudia. And Thank Morena you. Medina, how are you today? Okay. Ah, tienes apagado el micrófono. The microphone is off. <laughs> <laughs> I fight, teacher. Okay. And did you celebrate it? Uh, uh, did you celebrate uh, Father's Day? Celebrate um, <laughs> the Yes. 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 Un intérprete no se vale. No se vale ah, pues este para que vea que no entiendo. No, pero si no, no, va, no, no se va a preocupar. Va a decir, aquí tengo intérprete. No se va a preocupar. Ok, very good. Entonces tenemos ayuda. Claro. Ok. So, did you celebrate Father's Day? Yes, teacher. Yes. What did you do? Did you cook or you bought the food already cooked? <laughs> Did you cook? Did you cook? Cocino. Si cociné. Yes. Uh -huh. No. Okay. What did you do? What, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Salí. Okay, so you went out. It was dinner or was lunch or breakfast? Lunch. Lunch, okay, so you had lunch. Uh, you went uh, out for lunch. Very good. Excellent. Well, good job. And Rufino, Amilcar, what did you get for Father's Day? Uh, my, my wife and my children celebrate me the Father Days. Okay, okay, very good. What did you eat? A fish? No? Uh, no, it, 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 we don't we don't eat in house. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Sunday, uh -huh. we we celebrate and we eat pollo campero. Oh my God, tierno, crujoso y crujiente. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good, excellent. Well, what's good, huh? What's good, yes. Excellent, well, for your compare for Father's Day, hey, can beat that. Yes, very good, excellent. And Emily Yamilet, how are you today? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good Hi. evening. And tell me, what did you do for Father's Day? Okay, and the Friday, um, we celebrate with my old family. 
uh, my grandpa, my uncle, and my dad. Okay. And grandpa, uncle, we, and dad. We, we eat Pizza Hut. Yeah. You ate and this, Pizza uh, Hut. And, yeah. Um, Saturday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. On Saturday, uh, we celebrate. My family is my with my family and my boyfriend. With oh, my okay, family. okay. Mm -hmm. Boyfriend included, huh? Yes. Yeah. My, my father, right? my mom, my sister. Very in good. the he, um, se me olvidó cómo se dice domingo teacher. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. In the in the Sunday. It's Sunday. 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 On Sunday, okay. yes, Sunday, yes. On uh -huh. Sunday, me no celebrate with my other family uh, because I me tocó trabajar. I work. You had yeah. to work. Yeah. Okay, so you have two families. Yeah, uh, family Boy. for my father and the family for my mother. Oh, your mother's side and your father's side. Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. Oh my God, you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky to have a big family. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And uh, thank you, Emily. And Alba Saavedra, how did you celebrate it? Uh, how did you celebrate uh, Father's Day? Um, uh, we went with my husband and other friend. And so, um, we went to uh, the beach uh -huh. and ate uh, meat grill, carne asada, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, yes, uh -huh. barbecue. barbecue, barbecue or grill, grill meat. Grill meat, okay. Okay. And only. Oh, sí. only uh, a grill is una parrillada. Okay. okay. Okay, very good. El chorizo. <laughs> chorizo también. Oh my God. Yeah. El, el chorizo yeah. uh, argentino. Argentino. Correct. Mm. That's right. Eso, eso delicious. delicious. Yes, delicious. Oh my God. Ya me dio hambre. <laughs> me too, teacher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too, teacher. <laughs> okay. Very good. Se excelente. Se Okay. Oh my God, tortillas tostadas. Eso es, es, eso es demasiado. Oh, demasiado rico eso. Okay, very good, excelente. Y Jenny Sánchez, how did you celebrate uh, Father's Day? No, teacher, my father already passed away. Okay. And we couldn't go to the cemetery because my mother and I, uh, we... We was uh, sick. Oh, you were sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We were sick. Oh, my God. But uh, you're better now, huh? Are you taking any medications? Yes, yes. I I take uh, anti antibiotics and Ant antihistamines. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. It's like uh, Tylenol or something like that. Uh, Tylenol or acetaminophen? Acetaminophen. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you are under medication now because it's awful to be sick. I don't like to be sick. I like to work a lot. I, I prefer to work instead of uh, being sick at home. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, very good, excellent. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jenny. And Olivia Osorio, how are you today? And what did you do for Father's Day? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in the Father Day, we went out to lunch with my husband and my dad. Oh my goodness. And what did you eat? Um, pizza. Pizza. Pollo Real. Okay. Camino Real? Pollo Real. Oh, Pollo Real. A real chicken. Very good. Excellent. Pizza de Pollo Real. Okay. Must be good, huh? The pizza was I good? Okay. Was the pizza good? 
And so we celebrate in the church on Saturday. Mm, okay. Very good on Saturday. Was the pizza good? Good. It was good. Okay. Delicious, right? Delicious. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to hear that. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, Andrea Renderos. I'm sorry. I almost left you out. And uh, what did you do for the uh, Father's Day, Andrea? I had a blast with my family. And we went to eat uh, Mexican food because it's the favorite food of my dad and my godfather. Spicy, so, spicy food. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, and what did you eat? It was a burrito, um, burrito enchiladas, and burritos and tacos. Okay, yes. very good. Oh my God, how was the salsa? Very good, excellent. This Delicious. Was a yes, this was yes. a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that you, uh, all of you have uh, had a wonderful Father's Day and that uh, if uh, the ones that don't have a father, but I'm sorry to hear that uh, and, uh, and uh, that you were sick too, maybe next year, right? Uh, maybe you can go and visit your father. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. We're going to be talking about the future. Vamos a hablar acerca del futuro. Y para hablar del futuro, vamos a usar two things. Vamos a, a usar el going to y el present continuous. Yeah. So let me share the screen with you over here. I'm just going to give you an explanation about the, the so future time. Future. Future. To talk about the future, we're going to be using two things. We're going to use the present continuous, present continuous, and um, the going to, going to, be going to. These are the two options that we have to talk about the present continuous. Okay, so when we when we talk about the future, what are we doing actually? ¿Qué es lo que estamos haciendo cuando hablamos acerca del futuro? Sí. Nos estamos adelantando desde a una acción. Okay. Entonces, en otras palabras, we are making we are making um, plans, right? We're, we're making, making plans. plans yes. yes, that's how we do it. And when we are talking uh, about the future, basically what we're doing is we are making plans. And to make plans, we're going to have two ways. Two ways to make plans. Yeah, two ways to express to express a future plan. Yes. So we're going to have two ways to express a future plan. We're going to have the present continuous and be going to. So when we talk about the future, basically what we are doing is we are making plans. That's basically what we are doing. Okay. So with that in mind, con eso en mente, we're going to have the future, future with present continuous. Okay, we're going to have the future, expressing the future or future plans with the present continuous. For example, I can say to Olivia, oh, sorry, Olivia, 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 what, yes. what are you going, what are you going to, or what are you doing, because it's a present continuous, what are you doing tomorrow, tomorrow 
morning. Okay. I can ask that, right? So what are you doing tomorrow morning? So when I use the present continuous, I start with the WH questions. Then I'm using the uh, verb to be, then the subject, then the verb do, plus the ing, plus the complement. So I say, Olivia, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Yes. And what Olivia is going to reply to me? ¿Qué es lo que me va a contestar Olivia? Uh, in, in the, tomorrow, mm -hmm. I will take my son to the doctor. Okay. I will take my son to the doctor yes okay i will take my son to the doctor teach all right so that is a future plan yeah she's making plans and that is her plan because it hasn't happened yet so it's a future plan that she said yeah um uh telling me whatever it's gonna happen i will take my son to the doctor but it's a future plan that may happen or may not happen. In this case, may happen or may not happen. Why? Because there, there have not been any preparation for it. So she's not uh, ready yet. So she's just making plans to take her son to the doctor. The going to, on the other hand, is different because when we use going to, uh, that is more certainty because uh, I'm telling someone I'm going to whenever I already have planned. Whenever, for example, if you say I'm going to um, to Mexico next week, I am going to Mexico next week. That means that I already have my airplane ticket. Yes, but if I say I, what are you doing to uh, next week? I will go to Mexico. That is not really uh, uh, sure that will happen. Why? Because I haven't planned anything yet. It's just a future plan, but I haven't yeah. bought my ticket yet. So when you use going to, and we will see it later on, that when you use going to, it's more uh, uh, sure that something is going to happen. Okay? All right. And... Uh, uh, Luis Alonso can say, it. I'm going to, um, I am uh, going to San Salvador, San Salvador tomorrow or next week. Next week, yeah. This is a, a future plan that uh, Luis Alonso is making. Yes, yes, a future plan that uh, Luis Alonso is making. I'm going to San Salvador next week. Yes, I can ask, when are you going to San Salvador? Well, teacher, I'm going to San Salvador next week. That is something that uh, he can say, right? And, or I can, I can, uh, I can ask for a uh, the general question for the future plan. I can say, Jenny, 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 um, Jenny, are are you doing a? Are you doing anything tomorrow? See, are you doing anything tomorrow? Yeah. Jenny, are you doing anything tomorrow? I'm using the simple present to ask a, for a future plan. Are you doing anything tomorrow? And uh, what would be uh, Jenny's reply? Yes, lo que me va a contestar Jenny. Hay dos, hay dos. I'm sorry? Solamente descansar mañana. Ok. Eh, serían dos, dos respuestas solamente ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería la primera? No. I'm not doing. No. No, 
I am not. Yes. Esa sería una o la otra. Yes. I am. Bien. Yes, I am. Esa sería la otra. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Yes, I am, teacher. Oh, no, I am not, teacher. Yes. And luego preguntaría ella, why? Why, teacher? Oh, I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. solamente preguntaba. Okay? So, en ese tipo de, de preguntas, solo hay dos, dos respuestas. Yes or no. Yes, I am. O no, I am not. Okay? If ma is most specific. Eh, it's it's yes. just a, yes, eh, those are for a short answer. No, I'm not. Okay. Yes, I am. Those are short answers. Okay. That, uh, I, you are supposed to give short answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, let's see now, let's go over the, um, uh, with going to. Okay. With be going to be going to. Now let's see how we're going to be asking uh, for future plans using the uh, be going to. What is, uh, what is Estela? What is Estela? Estela. Hmm? What is Estela going to going to do tomorrow? Okay, in this case we are using the going to. What is Estela going to do tomorrow? See? Now I'm using the verb to be, the subject the verb plus ing plus I'm using the infinitive verb. That is the difference in this one, okay? So we are saying, what is Stella going to do tomorrow? What is she going to do tomorrow? And Stella. Yes, uh -huh. what is Stella going to do tomorrow? Pero le estoy preguntando a alguien más en este caso, ¿verdad? Le estoy preguntando a otra persona qué es lo que usted va a hacer mañana. ¿Ya? Yeah. En uh, la otra persona me va a contestar dependiendo de lo que ella sepa qué es lo sí. que va a hacer. ¿Ok? Le podemos decir she. Yes. She. 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 She is. She is. Mm -hmm. She is going to work. Going to work. She is going, yeah, to work, work. all day long. Yeah. Yeah. She. Yes. Yeah. She's going to work all day long. Or she is working. Or she is working all day long. Podemos contestar también, yeah? She is working all day long, teacher. What is Estela doing to, to do tomorrow? Uh, she is working all day long. Okay? Podríamos decir de esa forma. Yeah? She is, oh, she is, uh, she is going to, she's going, going to work. Um, only half day. Yeah. Okay, teacher, yes, uh, she is going to work only half day. Ahí estamos diciendo, oh, uh, ella va a trabajar okay. solamente medio día. Yeah. Medio día. Medio día, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, eso sería el, el going to. Por ejemplo, Patricia. Patricia, um, ¿tiene algún plan para este fin de semana con la familia? 
eh, trabajar. I'm working. Con tu familia. Yes. With okay. Family. Okay. Uh, okay. Entonces, are they going? Are they going to? Um, they're going to go to work on the weekend. Yes. Are they going to go to work on the weekend? Sí, ¿cómo se, se, se cambia esta de el, el simple present continuous? Are they going to go to work on the weekend? Yeah. ¿Y cuál sería la respuesta en este caso, Luis Enrique? Yes. Yes, que. Yes. They are going. Ok, acuérdense, solo necesitamos yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But, but I think, I yeah. think uh, the answer can be no or no. No, eso sería como repetir ya lo que ya hablamos. Okay, then it's true. Yes, so they, they, they yes. are oh, oh no, they aren't. Yes, uh huh. Oh mm -hmm. no. Yeah. No. No, they aren't. They aren't. Yes. See? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Very good. That's, that's it. That's, that's basically it. That's basically it, what we use um, the uh, present continuous and uh, be going to, to uh, express uh, future plans. Okay. Alguna pregunta de, de, de esos dos tipos de, de um, referencias para referirnos al uh, future? Present continuous y el be going to. Acuérdense que esas tenemos esas dos. Yes. La estructura, teacher. Ok, ya vamos a ver la estructura. Yes. Entonces, eso es eh, las dos uh, formas como eh, nos referimos al future, ¿verdad? El future plan. Ahora vamos a ver el use. ¿Para qué lo usamos? El use. ¿Para qué lo usamos? Dijimos. Making plan. Yes, but a planned actions Action. in the future, right? In the future. Yeah, lo usamos para eso. También lo usamos para otra cosa. Um, le dije yo que el, el going to, el be going to is when you are certain that something is going to happen. Yeah. So, lo usamos para when you are certain that uh, that something is going to happen. Happen, yeah. In the future. In the future. So those are the two uses for the uh, uh, going to and for the uh, future uh, using the present continuous. Those are the two uses that we do. Um, so for example, if I said, um, uh, I'm going to, what's the difference when I say I am, I am going, going, to Metro Centro. I'm going to Metro Centro and I am heading to Metro Centro. Mm 
what is the difference between these two sentences? I am going to Metro Centro and I am heading to Metro Centro. ¿Alguien me puede decir si ven alguna diferencia entre esas dos uh, oraciones? Um. Yes, in the verb. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Casi en lo el mismo es. es en el mínimo, en el mínimo, ¿verdad? En el mínimo. Ah, me dirijo a, o me voy. ¿Mm? Uno, uno es el plan que tiene de ir a Metrocentro y la otra es que va para Metrocentro. Excelente, buen trabajo, buen trabajo. Sí, el problema que tenemos nosotros cuando es, estamos aprendiendo a hablar inglés, hablamos de esa manera. I'm going to Metrocentro, ¿sí? Pero eso es el plan ya, ya tenía el plan yo, I'm going to Metrocentro, es un future plan, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Es un future plan que estoy diciendo que voy a ir a Metrocentro. Pero no, nosotros uh, um, uh, en el momento que vamos a decir, I'm going to Metrocentro. Yes, right now. Yeah. Y no, tiene que ser, I'm heading to Metrocentro. Me dirijo para Metrocentro. ¿sí? Y el otro sería el future plan, que en el, en el futuro usted va a ir a Metrocentro. Pero no en ese momento. ¿ya? Esa es la diferencia entre las dos. No sé si... Los demás pudieron ver esa diferencia eh, para, para que vean que I am going to is a future plan y I am heading to Metro Centro. Ese no es un future plan. It's right plan. now. It's right now. Yeah. Sí, señor. Okay. En the first one, I think it means the better. No le entendí porque se le escucha quebrado. Excuse Se le escucha quebrado, cortado. Sí, se oye mal, es cierto. Ajá. Repítame lo despacio. I think I'm going to. I'm going to Metro Centro. I think the correct one is I'm going to go. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero sigue siendo un future plan. But yo, my question is for structure going to needs a verb. Okay, I'm going to. I think. I go. Okay. I, th I think. Ajá. Ok. Yes. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre las dos oraciones? Uh, I, the the difference is going to is uh, by future. Hmm? I think. When one person applying to go to Metro Centro tomorrow, next week, and here uh, the person goes to now. Uh, I... Now you see it. Okay, so those are the two uh, the two uses for I'm going to and uh, uh, I'm going to, which is a. Uh, um, using future plans, but something that you already have planned. And I will go to using the future, uh, the present continuous, yes, to express future plans. Those are the two ways that we have, um, we can use to express the future plan. Now we're gonna see the uh, main difference. Uh, where, what would be the main difference between them? Main difference. So the main difference that we have is uh, 
when making prediction, we do not use present continuous. So when uh, making prediction, we do not use the present continuous. Okay, when making predictions, it's like a, if I'm making prediction, it's different from making a future plans, right? We we use uh, rather we use be going to or will. Yeah, when making. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. I understand uh, when I say I am going to go to Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Is it a future plan? Yes. But if, if I ask me, ask me, uh, me preguntan, uh, if, where are you going now? I, I am going to Metro Centro. It's wrong. The, yes. the correct say I am. Heading to Metro Center. Heading yes? to heading to Metro Center. Yes. Heading to Metro Center. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Me dijo Metro Center. Okay. Heading I to understand. Metro Center. Yes. yes. Is it the correct? That's the correct way to say yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Uh, using the be going to. Going to. make to make prediction prediction are we going to be using this this one for example i say the what time olivia yeah, olivia what time olivia hmm? you are going to you are going, going to hurt yourself. Watch out, Olivia, you're going to hurt yourself. ¿Qué estoy haciendo con eso? Le estoy diciendo que le estoy uh, afirmando, confirmando que ella se va a, a dañar o estoy haciendo un future, una prediction. Una prediction, ¿verdad? Porque yo no sé si eso va a pasar o no va a pasar. Watch out, Olivia. You are going to hurt yourself. Eh, se va a lastimar. Es, es una... No, no, es, no es, estoy haciendo un future plan, sino que estoy haciendo un prediction. Estoy prediciendo algo que puede pasar. May, may happen or may not happen. Por ejemplo... Um, right now, ¿cómo está el cielo? It's green. Cloudy, ¿verdad? Cloudy. No lo vemos, pero sí hay, yeah. hay nubes ahí. Yes. It is cloudy. Yo puedo decir, oh, it is cloudy right now. Yes. Right now. Basado en eso, yo puedo hacer una predicción. ¿Qué puedo decir? I think... Como no es algo uh, certain, digo, I think it is going to rain. Going to rain. I think it is going to rain. Una predicción. Yes, Jenny. El going to lo vamos a usar eh, para el futuro, pero a corto tiempo. El going to, en este caso, lo estamos usando como una prediction. Pero, ¿en cuánto tiempo? Mañana, pasado mañana, una semana, no. algún día. En, en este, es para, el future es, por ejemplo, un segundo más tarde es el futuro ya. O segundo más tarde es el futuro. ¿Y con sí. el will, cuál es la diferencia? Eh, lo mismo, por ejemplo, pues, podemos poner... I think 
I think it will going to rain. Ahora, ¿cuándo es? Eh, yo le pongo la fecha in a minute. In a minute. Yes. I think it, it, it will going to rain in a minute. Yeah. Ya le puse yo, pero yo le puse ese, esa, esa fecha. Como usted, eh, lo que usted me está diciendo es lo correcto. ¿Y cuándo es el futuro? Yeah. Yo le pongo ese, ese. Por ejemplo, I think it's going to rain uh, um, later, later at night. ¿Sí? Ya le puse ahí yo, pero yo le puse ese time frame. Le puse, I think it's going to rain later at night. Pienso que va a llover más noche. Eso estoy diciendo, más noche. Y el otro, I think it will going to rain in a minute. Creo que va a llover como en un minuto, ¿sí? Porque ya se ve que uff, los árboles están, están tronando, está relampagueando y todo eso. Entonces dice, oh, ya va a llover, ya va a llover, ya va a llover. Empezamos a, a meter la el ropa. Resumen, el, res, el resumen, teacher, no tiene eh, un tiempo específico para el uso de ellos. Puede no. usar cualquiera. Sí, puede usar cualquiera, correcto, sí. Uh -huh. Thanks, yes. teacher. Ok, you're welcome, Jenny. Ok, entonces eh, ya aprendimos que la main difference between el present continuous y el going to es que el going to, a big going to lo puedo usar para hacer predictions in the future. Yeah? Lo mismo que el will. Son interchangeables. No hay diferencia entre los dos. Ok. Ahora vamos a ver la forma of uh, present present uh, continuous ¿Cuál es la forma que vamos a usar? Vamos a usar el subject plus verb B plus verb plus el ing es bien importante. Plus complement. Es la forma de las oraciones. Por ejemplo, digo Olivia. Olivia is watching movie. Olivia is watching a movie. Okay. Ese sería el present continuous. Ahora, ¿cómo lo hago para el futuro? Uh -huh. He is going to. She is going to watch a movie. Watch a movie. Yeah, she's going to watch a movie. She is going to watch a movie. Yeah. So that is a future plan, ¿verdad? She is going to watch a movie. So, ella está planeando decir, ok, um, después que, que comamos todos, yo me voy a acostar en el couch. I'm going to lay down on the couch and... I am going to watch a movie. See, Spider-Man or Batman. Yes, la nueva. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Entonces, eso es como nosotros hacemos el future plan y eso es la forma de present continuous. Ahora vamos a ver la forma del be going to. La form of uh, be going to. To va a ser diferente, yeah. Puedo borrar lo demás, ¿verdad? Esto. Ok, la form, form of the be going to. En este caso tenemos el subject. Verbo. Verb. Okay. Tenemos el, el subject plus el be, ¿verdad? El verb be. 
verb to be. Verb to be. Verb to be. Mm -hmm. Plus. Plus is going. Going to. Yeah. Plus. Infinitive. In this case, infinitive, yes. Uh, verb. Es importante que le pongamos infinitive verb, no solamente el verb. Plus complement. Plus complement. That's the complement. Okay. Por ejemplo, uh, Claudia dice, I am going to, I am going to, sorry, going to, um, I'm going to cook uh, dinner. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Yeah, I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Okay, ahí está haciendo un future plan. Que ella va a cocinar la cena hoy en la noche, ¿verdad? Mentira, Claudia. No, ya estuvo, ya comió. <laughs> I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Yeah. Oh, Patricia puede decir, I am going to, I'm going to play, eh, ¿qué? Chess. Tonight. I'm going to play chess tonight. ¿Sí? Está planeando relajarse en la noche y jugar ajedrez. Yes, I'm going to play chess tonight. Sí, teacher, como que te hubiera tiempo, ¿verdad? <laughs> dice, dice Patricia, yeah, teacher. I'm going to play chess tonight. Chess es el uh, ajedrez, ¿verdad? Ese es el chess. Ok. okay. Y la última... Um, Estructura que nos falta es when uh, using questions, ¿verdad? When making questions. When making questions, usamos la estructura de la WH question, las verb to be, las subject, las Las verb, las ing, las complement, las question mark. Y no se le va a olvidar la question mark. Eso es cuando estamos haciendo when making, just a second, sorry for the mistake, uh, when making the question. Damos esa estructura. Ok, when... Vamos a ver, y let's see. ¿Alguna celebración que tengamos para este fin de semana o muy pronto? ¿Alguien? ¿No? ¿Algún evento? Ok. El día del maestro. Yes, very good. Um, ok. Where are you celebrating uh, Teacher's Day? Okay, where are you celebrating Teacher's Day? Where are you celebrating Teacher's Day? Okay, so where are you celebrating? Tenemos la WH question, tenemos el verb to be, tenemos el subject, tenemos el verb celebrate, el ING, plus complement, plus the question mark. Plus question mark. Yeah. O oh, le puedo decir a uh, um, Alba, le puedo decir, what are you doing tonight? 
la pregunta que hicimos al principio, ¿verdad? Right? Se le podría decir a ella. I'm going to sleep. Yes, I'm going to sleep right now, teacher, because I'm so tired. Ok, so, esto sería usando el, uh, el, uh, el, usando el, uh, el going to, pero con el simple present continuous. Ahora, ¿cómo usamos el, el going to con be going to? Y sería diferente. La misma pregunta, where, where are you celebrating teacher's day? Sería, where are you going to celebrate? ¿Sí la diferencia? ¿Sí la diferencia? Where are you celebrating teacher's day? Es usando el present continuous. Pero si, uh, but if I'm going to be using the be going to, then the structure is different. Where are you going to celebrate Teacher's Day? Okay. So, ¿quién me puede dar la estructura para este tipo de... The questions. ¿Quién me puede ayudar con la estructura de este tipo de questions? WH question. WH question, ajá. Uh -huh. Plus B. Plus B, ajá. Uh -huh. Subject. Plus subject, yes. Uh -huh. Plus going to. Going Plus to. Going to uh -huh. Plus complement. No. Infinitive verb. Plus inf. Infinitive verb. Yes, infinitive verb. Very good. Verb. Plus complement. Plus complement. Plus question mark. Plus question mark. Yes, yeah, see, it's. Este es diferente, ¿verdad? Ya tiene más cosas que la otra. Entonces, eh, eso es lo que... Um, entonces, eh, ¿cómo diríamos uh, dónde va a ir Estela esta noche? ¿O qué va a hacer Estela esta noche? ¿Cómo diríamos eso? What? What, what are, are they? What are Stella going to? Stella going to? To? Tonight. Tonight. Ok. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿O hay algo en lo que podemos trabajar? What is? What is? What ok. Is? Primero vamos a cambiar el is, sí, correcto. What porque, is? porque, eh, Estela es esa uh, tercera per, third person. Usamos el verbo is. What is? Muy bien. What is Estela? Y ahora? Going to do. Going to go. Going to hacer. Yeah, hacer. Do. Yes. Going to do. Yes. Tonight. Going to do tonight. Ahí sí, sí, porque nos faltaba el infinitive verb, sí. La, la oración estaba incomplete. Nos faltaba el infinitive verb en este caso. Pero ahora ya tenemos, what is Stella going to do tonight? Very good, excellent. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Any questions en lo que hemos hecho hasta hoy? No, teacher. ¿No? Here. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Entendimos todo a la perfección? Para que así mañana ya podemos hacer el reading. Vamos a hacer un reading y también vamos a hacer el, el primer ejercicio. Okay? I see that uh, a lot of okay. you already working on the final. Congratulations for the people who are working on the final. All right. And uh, well, um, I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. 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 Good